Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to have some fun with letters G, H, and I. But do you remember how to do D, E, and F? Let's use our magic pencil figure, finger even, to draw the letters. Now, I'm going to face this way. Let's do the letter D. So we go round like we're making an A, up to the top, keep going up, and then following it straight down. Let's see if we can do it on a piece of paper so that we can make it much easier to see. Okay, so let's do that again. We start like we're writing a letter A. So we go round, join the top, keep going up, come down, and give it a little kick. Very good. Letter E. So we go across, up, and over, and underneath. Very good. Don't join up. Make sure there's a gap at the end. Let's do an F. We do a hook, down, and give it some arms. Very good. Well, today we're going to look at the letters G, H, and I. Do you have your pencil ready? Good. Are you holding it right? Check. Very good. Now, I'm going to use a coloured pencil. Okay, a coloured pen even. Because this will make it easier for you to see on the screen. Now, the letter G, let's have a look at the letter G. The letter G makes the same letter as an A, and then you go down this time and give it a hook. Let's do it again. Let's do it on our piece of paper down here so we can see it. In our magic finger pencil, we go round like a letter A, right to the top, down this time and hook at the bottom. Let's practice. Get your pencil ready, get some paper. Brilliant. So we start at the top, follow all the way around to like a letter A, almost a letter A at this point, isn't it? Right at the top, we come down and hook at the bottom. Don't take your pencil, if you can, off the paper. Don't do that. Try and keep it as one smooth action. Okay, so hold the pencil at the top. Go round, almost like a letter A. Come down this time and hook underneath. Well done. Let's do it again. Start at the top. Go round, right to the top down and hook underneath. Right, letter G. Start at the top. We go all the way round, right to the beginning, down this time and hook underneath. Well done. Okay, so let's do it again. I want to hear you tell me how to do it. Ready? Very good. It looks exactly the same. Well done. Let's do it again. Start at the top. Start to create a letter A. So you go round, up to beginning, down, keep going down, and hook underneath. Let's do two more. Start at the top, go round like a letter A, down and hook underneath. Very good. One more. Start at the top, go right way round, up to the beginning, down and hook underneath. Fabulous. Well done. Okay, now the letter H. So G for goat. H for house, or G for giraffe, H for house, or horse, okay? So this one, we don't start at the bottom here. We start at the top, right at the top. And that's where we come down, 
we go back up a little way and over. So it's almost like a tunnel, isn't it? If you take this off, it looks like a tunnel. Right, like where a train goes through. Let's try it again. So we could start at the top. We draw a line down. We go back up halfway and over. Down, up halfway and over. Down, up halfway and over. Right, very good. Start at the top. Pencils ready. Down, up halfway and over. Down, up halfway and over. Down, up halfway and over. Very good. Down, up halfway and over. Well done. Now, let me hear you tell me what I have to do. Good instructions. Well done. Start at the top. Down, up halfway and over. Down, up halfway and over. One more. Down, up halfway and over. Very good. Now for the last letter, I. I for ice. Ice that you put in your drink to make it cold. Okay, now this one is very easy. Down with a little kick and then a dot. Down with a little kick and then a dot. Right? Let's try. So we go down with a little kick and then a dot. Now, you don't need to do the, a big dot like this, okay? I'm making it big so that you can see that I've written a dot, okay? You just need to go down, kick, dot, all right? Can you see now I've written a dot? This one here, all right? Let's do it again. Down, little kick, dot. Down, little kick, dot. Down, little kick, dot. Down, little kick, dot. Well done. Can you see my dots? They're not big like this one. So you don't really need to do them very big at all. Just a little dot so that you can see it on your piece of paper. Otherwise, I don't know what it would be. Let's try again. Shout out the instructions. Very good. Down, little kick, and a dot. See? Perfect. Let's do one more, or three more. Down, little kick, and a dot. Down, little kick, and a dot. Down, little kick, and a dot. One more, just for luck. Down, little kick, and a dot. Very good. Now, this is not very good writing. I'm sure that you can make all your eyes exactly the same size. These have gone from big to little. Okay, try and keep them. And because I'm left handed, it's also gone up the page as well. Try and keep them in a nice row, like we did with the G's. Okay, all right. Well done. Let's do them one more time. Round up, down, and hook underneath. Very good. Start at the top, down, up halfway, and over. Well done. Last one. Down, little kick, and a dot. Perfect. Well done. Now we've done quite a few. We've done nine letters already. And I would love to see some of your writing of these nine letters. So get mum to take a picture and add it to this post. I'd love to see them. Okay, now you've got some activity sheets in the link above the video. Give mum a nudge, say, mum, print them out for me. And then you can have a practice of writing G, H and I. And I will see you next week on Monday's time next week for some next three letters. Have a good week. Bye-bye.